What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today in this video we're going to be opening up six of the uh, 2015 Mega Tents. This is going to be the Odd Eyes uh, Pendulum Dragon Tents. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we get from them. Kind of move a few of these over, because <laughs> there's not much room. I need a bigger table for case openings. And these tins, I don't know, is it really needed to make these tins so big, really, when there's three packs in them? I know there are three bigger packs, but... Uh, yeah, I don't mind if they go back to the regular size. Here's the promo pack. I'm going to open up the first one, and then we're only going to open up that one. Because you don't need to see the promo several times. I'm sure you guys have seen them plenty already. I can't get this one open. There we go. It's like, you'll be lucky to see this one, evidently. <laughs> so we have an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. It is, like I said, extremely shiny on that. Elder Entity Norden, one of the main cards we're going after, and uh, Ma Majesty's Fiend for our other promo. So let's get going with these Mega Tins and their packs. I like the look of the packs too, they kind of like a rainbow look to them or something. Kind of nice. Perform a Pal Whip Snake for a rare. Then we have Artifact uh, Durandal for a Ultra, Thessalos the Mega Monarch for Secret, and Sylvan a Princess Sprout for a Super. And yes, as I've said before, I got all these from uh, StrikeZoneLine.com and I do recommend getting these Mega Tins because they're definitely worth the money. They can help you build up your collection, they can help you get uh, good cards to trade for whatever cards you need. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff. It, it's definitely worth the money. They're guaranteed hollows out of every pack. We have number uh, C43 for a rare. Uh, Klee Fort Stealth. Begin a lot of Klee Forts. So there we go. Bujinki uh, Amaterasu for a secret. And number uh, Chaos uh, 102, Archine Seraph. Yeah, I have quite a few of the Klee Forts. Hopefully, that's some of the better ones to get. I haven't really seen prices on a lot of the Mega Ten stuff. I don't, pen I don't uh, think I'm going to build Klee Forts, so I don't mind. Selling the extras on those or trading. Sylvan, a uh, Snap Dra Sassagon. Then a uh, Sky Calvary Centauria. Those two are always together, it seems like. And then a uh, Baxia, again, for Brightness of the Yang Zing. And a uh, Super Heavy Samurai Flutist for a Super. I have, I think, more than a place at a Baxia now. Hope I get the Darkness one. I don't think I got the, the Dark Synchro. That's one I wouldn't mind having. Especially, like I said, since I have a place that of Baxia. I'll put it up here. Promo pack. No need to open that. You guys have already seen them. I'm going to keep enough of the promo packs where I have a play set of uh, both the new cards, Hastor and Norden. But after that, everything else will be for seller trade on promos. I don't think I'm going to keep the Odd Ice Pendulum Dragons. Well, then again, I don't know. I might keep a place set. I'm tempted to. Fright for a bear. For a rare. Then uh, Safria, Queen of the Dragons. That's hard to read through there. <laughs> Baxia again. Man, we're going to get two play sets. That's fine on me. And uh, Lightning Rod Lord for a super. Yeah, I might you know, keep at least one play set. I want to build... Of course, uh, Odd Eyes when the structure comes out, but I don't know if I like this rarity of Odd Eyes. It's the only thing. It's kind of cool, but it's a little too much glitter. Dance Princess of the Necros. Sinister Shadow Games. That's good. Ultra Rare. Glider Beast uh, Nero Kiss. And then Shadal Fusion. I haven't really seen too many Shadal cards in this. So that's good. At least we're getting some now, is what I mean. <laughs> it's not good that we hadn't seen any. I'll say, I should reword that. That sounds awful. I don't mind Shadal's too much. Super Heavy Samurai Scales for a uh, rare. Then we have Bujingi Sinyo for a uh, ultra. Number 99, Utopic Dragon and Folkout's Cannon. I like how it made it easier for number ni uh, 99. For number collectors. I don't think it was expensive anyway, but... Oh well. A reprint to make it easier to get is never a bad thing. Well, promo pack. 
sure pin the promo packs kind of over there. Alright, first pack of this tin. Performa Pal Trampolinks. Then we have uh, Sephra again for an Ultra. Oh, Rank Up Magic uh, the seventh one. That's really good. Secret Rare. And uh, Jinzo Jector for a Super. That's really good to get that Rank Up Magic. I forgot that that was reprinted in this. I remember getting one of those back then and being uh, happy about it because it works pretty well with the Galaxy Photons. And you can actually use it with a lot of different things. It's a pretty annoying card. One of the best Rank Up Magics. see, Necrol Cycle, then Herald of Ultimateness, <laughs> I just like the name of this one. Then, uh, there we go, uh, Yazi Evil of the Yang Zing, so at least we got the other one, the dark one now, and then Artifact Scythe. I'm glad I got that, because I didn't have one of the, the evil versions of the Yang Zing. I think it looks cool. Again, I'm tempted to build them, but I don't know. Uh, Shadal Beast for a rare. Sinister Shadow Games for an ultra. Theslos the Mega Monarch for a secret. And uh, Pulau Wind of the Yangzing. Got a few of the Mega Monarchs. Of course, it was kind of like that with the last Mega Tens, I think, too. There we go. Put that over there. Only three tins left. So far out of this case, I've gotten one Dante, and that was like at the beginning. So let's see if we can get another one. And like I said, I'd like to get Virgil as well. I mainly want to get him because I like the whole storyline to him. Dante's Inferno and everything. I wouldn't mind having the whole set of them just for that reason alone. Fluffle Dog, rare. Dad Calvary Centauri. Pot of Riches, Secret, and Pulau Wind of the Yangzi. The main deck I'm looking forward to, though, is uh, Odd Eyes. <laughs> That's like the next thing on my list that I 100% want to build. Got an Artifact for a Rare, Sacrifice for a Ultra, then Solemn Scolding for a secret, and Bixi Water of the Yang Zing for a super. And last pack for this one. A Perform Pal Chair Mold, almost passed right by it. Doomstar Magician. Then we have Virgil. There we go. Now we have uh, Dante and Virgil. I think they look awesome. Still secret rares like that. And Ector for Noble Knights. I'm always happy about Noble Knight. I don't care which one. I know a lot of people don't like them, but you guys should know from my username that I do. <laughs> I like what they stand for. I wish the art type was better, though. I'll, I'll be the first to admit the art type needs a pretty good amount of cards still, I feel like. And maybe one of these days that will happen. Probably be a few years or something, though, because they've kind of had their chance there for a while. Out of all the TCG-only art types, though, I really want more support for UAs, and I'm kind of still bummed about how I guess we won't see any more for now. I'm hoping that maybe the Japan will get an exclusive one that we'll eventually get that will help out, too, kind of like what happened to Burning Abyss, but we'll just have to wait and see. I guess now we know that's a possibility. Uh, Dance Princess of the Necros. Then, uh, Stellar Nova Alpha for Ultra. Then Ryza, the Mega Monarch. Secret, Suani, Fire of the Yang Zing. Super. I haven't really seen too much of the Satellar Knights, the holographic ones. That's good. Get a few of those. I was tempted to build them back then, but then whenever they all went up in price and I had a bunch of them, I kind of thought, you know what, I think I'll go ahead and sell them for now, because I knew they'd get reprinted eventually. Perform uh, Kaleidoscorp for a uh, rare, then Yang Zing Creation, Ultra, Infernoid Unoku for a secret, I think I'm saying that right, and then a number C107 Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon for our super.
And now I'm starting to see a few uh, different secret rares. And after a while, we we're kind of getting the same ones over and over. Which I'm going to be kind of disappointed if I get one more back to you, at least. Because I need a second playset for reasons. Panzer Dragon. Infernoid uh, Harmadek. Then another one of the Infernoid uh, Anuku. And uh, Tachyon Chaos Hole. Getting some of those Infernoids at the end. And hearing a lot of good things about them. I'm glad. I was hoping they would do well. Like I said, they remind me of like an evil Digimon or something. Kind of like Diaboramon or I don't know why. They just do. I think their designs are cool. I've never played them, though. Maybe I should give them a try. Promo pack. And it looks like we're on our last 10. Hopefully I've gone through these pretty quick for you guys. I've tried to kind of speed up. Perform Pal Trampolinks. A Madolce and Jelly. Then a uh, Stellar Knight uh, Delta Rose. And Vampire Vamp. Oh, upside down card. Randomly in there. I guess it's actually easier to open up these packs like this, I think. Since they have more cards in them, they're a little bit more of a pain sometimes. Uh, so Teller Knight Skybridge for a rare. Then we have number uh, 62, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. One of my favorite number cards, so that's awesome. Uh, Necros of Gunnier for a secret. And uh, First of the Dragons for a super. Kind of funny that I got Necros of Gunnier in this because, well, <laughs> I forgot that it actually got reprinted, I guess. They make some of the other ones easier yet. Maybe they will. Shadal Falco. Uh, Knight Dragolich. It's pretty cool. I don't think I've gotten that one before. Uh, Thessalos the Mega Monarch for a secret. And then Emilescent Knight for our super. So yeah, there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed the opening. I think we only got like one Dante and one Virgil from the whole thing. And uh, I don't really see the need in doing a recap really for this case opening because you can see pretty much as we're going through this. These are pretty quick videos, not like with uh, a bunch of boxes. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. As always, I uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember uh, to, uh, of course, comment. Tell me how you guys did on your Megatons, whether you bought a couple or a case or whatever you did. As well as like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for more opening videos. I have a lot of stuff planned. And I guess uh, tomorrow, which should be Monday, uh, I will have the random pack opening. Like I said, I kind of moved it back a little bit because of uh, this case opening. I don't know if I'd get it on Friday or not. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.